Don't touch that dial. I've got 10 super hot ETFs that I want to share with you. Hi, I'm Doc Severson for the Ready, Set, Trade, Trade of the Day for Thursday, the 11th of February. All right, now this top 10 list was shared by Charles to our 10X Tribe yesterday. Our 10X Tribe is our free member list, which you can sign up in the notes below and be copied as soon as we post these out to our member base. The first one on our list is ARKQ, which is the ARK Autonomous Technology and Robotics ETF. You can see this one has gone nearly parabolic, finding some overhead resistance at about 100. If we draw some fib retracements on the last major swing from the bottom to the top here, we can see that we start to get into levels of value, I'd say around the $80 per share level. So either waiting for a pullback to somewhere around $80 per share is your best bet, or you can always sell some options against this. However, they're not exactly rich at 47% implied volatility. You can sell the $80 put and get about 80 cents for that, which is about a 1% return over the next 36 days. That's one potential way that you can play this without waiting for the pullback. However, in every case, the pullback on something like this that's exploding will generally reward you for your patience. The next one we have on the list here is again from ARC. This is the ARK Next Generation Internet ETF, which is ARKW. Now, this ETF has run quite a bit to the upside, and you can see it's currently in exhaustion. So a $185 stock is going to eat up a lot of capital if you buy this. So unless you're using fractional shares, the other way that you can trade this is through the option chain, and you can use limited risk Debit spreads in this case, a vertical spread is only going to eat up a, a small amount of capital. And we typically look for anywhere from a 50 to a 60% gain on our capital in those spreads. Our next candidate is PRNT. And this is the 3D printing ETF, which is currently about $48, has gone completely vertical. In exhaustion, would look for a pullback to about 40 to 42 or so right now there are no options on this. So no options, no warrants, no other way to play this other than perhaps fractional shares. If you have a smaller account, again, this is starting to get up there in terms of price. Our next candidate is part of the cannabis family and this one is MSOS. This is Advisor Shares Pure US Cannabis ETF. I would look for a retest of this pivot level here, which is about 47 and a half. Former resistance becomes new support on the way back down. About 47 and a half would be the way to go for this one. And we can trade this with options if we choose to. And right now we could get paid for that pullback by selling that $47 put. And that is pretty rich right now, being paid about 350 somewhere between 320 to 350 per contract for that. So that's a fairly hefty return for that. However, you need four contract, $4,700 in capital per contract. Our next candidate is the aptly named YOLO, Y-O-L-O, Advisor Shares Pure Cannabis ETF in a pullback right now. And the next level of support is about 23 or so, about $23 per share. And we do have the ability to sell options on this one. So this is a good play for that, for the put sale. Our next ETF is another cannabis play, THCX. This is the cannabis ETF. And uh, the level of support that we down, have down here is closer to 20, about 19 to $20 per share. And we do have options for those. They're not particularly rich right now. I would let the pullback play out to about 20 at this point. Here's the next well-named cannabis ETF, which is MJ. 
This is the ETF MG Alternative Harvest ETF, whatever that means. The level of support down here is about 21. So I wait for that 21 to be filled and or you can trade short puts against this. And right now you could sell that 21 put for at least $1.20 per contract, putting aside $2,100 to potentially buy the ETF at the $21 price level. Our next ETF is BLOK. This is the Amplify Transformational Data Sharing ETF or blockchain. And our support level is about 42 at this point. So wait for the pullback to 42. We can trade options against this one as well too. And we're paying about a dollar for the $42 puts, which would require 4,200 in capital to be set aside. Our next ETF candidate is XBI. This is the Spider Series Trust Biotech ETF. This one's a little bit more expensive, up at about $167. So you can play this one against the $152 pivot for this. Probably better playing with options, although the options are only about $5 wide. So you're going to be risking about $250 for a $250 gain. And our last ETF of the list of ETFs on fire is KOMP. Again, this is a Spider Kensho New Economies composite ETF. The support level down here is about 70. Wait for the pullback to about 70, or you can trade. No, you can't trade puts against this. So this is either a, a straight stock play or fractional shares on KOMP. That's our list of 10 ETFs that are on fire. Hope you found some value from this. Please join us at the 10X Tribe or just subscribe to this channel.